I'm not coming here for these visits anymore. This is my last time. I know, I know, I know. I know this is the last time for me, too. I, I told you that. I ain't going down no more. keep putting Sophina through this, and you go right ahead, okay? But Tatiana, that baby doesn't deserve this, Oscar. Too young knows going on. So I guess that's why she asked me why you love taking your vacations more than you like being with her. Come on, you got to tell her I love her. Tell her, tell her I ain't never going to Tell her yourself. Her. The next time you call home, you tell her yourself. Or better yet, let her come visit you here. Yeah, but I don't. She don't need to be exposed. You this, already man. exposed it. You already exposed it to this. So you gonna leave me? You gonna leave me again? What kind of mom is you? I'm in here by myself. I love you, Austin. Awesome. You don't love nothing. I do. And I'm praying for you. I'll see you when you get home. Hey, Ma, hold up. Let me get a hug, Ma. Grant. Hey, Ma, I can't get back a hug. Back to the visiting area, Grant. Hey, Ma, I'm sorry. Grant. Get out of here. Ma, I'm sorry. Let me just get a hug, Ma. Ma, let me just get a hug, Ma. Hey, Ma, I'm sorry. Michael, you've played some incredible, complex, young black men in your career, over the course of your career. On The Wire, on All My Children, that's one of my favorite roles of yours, <laughs> and Parenthood. So coming into Fruitvale Station, did you feel like you knew Oscar Grant and could relate to him? Um, I did feel like I knew him. Um, I feel like Oscar Grant could have easily been me. Mm. Um, being from like Newark, New Jersey, constantly catching the trains back and forth from Newark to Manhattan, you know, seeing that, 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 that dynamic between me and my friends and like you know transit officers etc cetera, etc cetera. just coming from the inner city you know um, mm -hmm. there was um, a lot of similarities between us and even as I think Oscar is a people pleaser mm -hmm. you know and I'm kind of like that as well just kind of you know trying to keep everybody happy um, family friends you know just you know navigating life you know making mistakes and trying to learn from them and move forward so I think there's a lot of similarities between me and him mm -hmm. Oscar, the man, the character, he was flawed. He wasn't a goody-goody. So how easy or hard was it to sell this man in progress in your performance? Um, I don't, I'm not saying it, it wasn't hard. It was, it was a challenge mm. um, to, I think I think that was that's more on Ryan. You know, a lot honestly, a lot of it was on the page. You know, Ryan did an incredible job with you know um, layering this guy up. You know, doing the research. You know, finding out who this guy was through the people that knew him the best, through his mom, through his daughter, through his you know his girlfriend, his all of his best friends, and you know, and what we found was that he was a different person around everybody. You know, he um, you know, and, and they were and they were all true. You know, you'll get five different you know perspectives of Oscar, and I think they were all true they were all right because you know he would be a certain way around his mom and you know he would be the leader of the gang you know of his crew when he, when, he, when he went out with his friends and he would be the best dad possible when he was around Tatiana and the best you know boyfriend as he could when he was around you know Sofina so it was it was uh, and that's what people do right. you know like we close off a little bit of ourselves to adapt to certain situations and social environments and I think uh, that's the humanistic part of, of, of Oscar he was a family man you know that's what and that's what that's what the root of it is and mm -hmm. the three most important people in his life was his daughter, his girlfriend, and his mom. And, and seeing them hurt or disappointed and, 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 and um, feeling, them feeling let down by Oscar, that's what really sparked the change, I think, in him mm -hmm. and wanting to see his family and the people he cared about happy. Wow, wow. Well, the film's ending was full of emotion. Like, there wasn't a dry eye in the theater that I saw it in. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to know, um, what was it like on set when you shot that scene? Were emotions high that day? Yeah, it was very tense. We only had four hours to shoot because um, we actually shot the, the BART location uh, at Fruitville Station, at the oh. actual um, station, and we could only shoot when the train wasn't running, so we only had four hours um, to shoot, and we only had two days. And, you know, we had a moment of silence before. You know, everybody, mm. cast, crew, everybody got together, prayed, prayed everything ran smoothly. You know, there was no mishaps. You know, we were using live fire, firearms, you know, and, um, wow. and so it was, it was, it was an intense, it was a intense um, four hours, and rehearsal time was very very important because we, we rehearsed all day before we got in there and we actually shot right over the exact brick you know the bullet hole still there in the ground from where Oscar was shot and um, that was very emotional you know I did a lot of 
excuse me, a lot of, you know, praying to him to mm. be around me at that moment, you know what I'm saying, just to be, give me guidance or just kind of, you know, just, you know, energy, you know, and it was, um, it was a very emotional and uh, heavy, heavy, heavy scene, but, um, yeah, I think it turned out pretty cool, man. Oh, and you put in an amazing performance. Thank, Thank you. you so much for this. No, no problem. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. Plans for the night? I meet up with the fellas, head out to the city. Why don't you take the train out there? That way you guys can hang out and not have to worry about anything. Hey, Oscar. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Happy New Year. Happy New Oscar? Year. Oscar? Oscar from Pharmacia? Now! Put that phone away. What are you got? Are you still on the train? We still have food there. Why can't you tell me what is going on? What is the problem? What are you doing? Oh my god. Good, I'm good. I'm good. We're gonna be good. We're gonna be good.